Welcome back to more Warbits, everyone. So last time we completed two more levels because those two levels actually took a very, very long time. But this time, 2-2. Two -two. Well, Sector 2, Level 2, I guess. I don't know. Hey, what gives? Who turned out the lights? This is a Fog of War match. Okay, yeah. Um. So, many of you who play strategy games or just, you know, tactical or RPGs or whatever, you would know about this thing called the Fog of War. It's actually called the Fog of War in many different strategy games. And like, one of the ones I played a lot was uh, Halo Wars for the Xbox 360, and it was called the Fog of War in that one, and it's called the Fog of War in a lot of them. But basically, um, you gotta tread carefully, waves, wait, waves troops must be out there creeping in the shadows. Okay, so they pointed right at this spot because there is actually an enemy right there that you have to uh, kill. So just a heads up, you know. Let's see here. We have a number of well, a number of troops, of course. But what I need to do here... Okay, first of all, the probe. This is the probe. These little mech units aren't very powerful, but their high mobility and vision make more than... Yeah, so... These are basically scouts, as it says. Because they have a lot of mobility, they can move a lot per turn, but they don't actually, you know, like... Well, they're, they're weak. They're pretty weak, but they can go out really, really far. So usually what I like to do is, um... Let's see, I mean, how far should I put this? I could go right there. Okay. This gives me a nice vision, as you can see there's actually still no enemies around here. But basically, the more you move, just like most strategy games you know, the more you reveal in the map. Everything that's dark, you have no idea if there's actually enemies in there or not. You have no clue. So it makes strategy games a lot more in-depth, a lot, you know, a lot more amazing in my opinion. Okay, so here's a gunship. But before I move that thing, I'm going to actually, well let's see. I have a baluster right here, which I want to put... Hmm... I kind of want to move the other one. You know what? Okay, I'm going to move the artillery right here. There we go. Now, unfortunately, this thing can't actually hit right there because I have no, you know, no field of view. But if I move, like, let's say... Wait a minute, actually. Hold on. Maybe that's not the one that's hidden. There's a spot somewhere, like in the trees. There's a close-by enemy, and I don't remember where it was. It might have been... Oh, yeah, there we go. See? For those, you have to be in a spot adjacent to them. But now that he's revealed, I think I can actually, like, I would be able to actually, sorry, attack if I had, like, an artillery in range, but I actually don't, so... Um... This sucks. Yeah, yeah, this for sure sucks. What I can do, though, is attack him from up here from the mountains. There we go, do some damage. And because he's an artillery, he actually cannot hit me. Now what I'm gonna do is move this guy all the way up here, and then I'm going to go ahead and put this guy in here, move this, a lot closer and that uh, dude I should have moved that a bit what, what the hell am I doing okay there's nobody there in that spot but as far as this thing goes the ballast I'm gonna put that right there and then move the uh, LT mag to the hidden spot over here and that's pretty much my turn let's go ahead and end it and turn okay what are you gonna do now okay he's gonna attack me I don't really care Ooh, here comes some troops Wait, what you're gonna capture my how dare you okay so yeah if they're on cities if they're on your own cities you can actually see so it helps a lot to have more cities all over the place. And also to just have scouts in nice locations, you know? So, first of all, let's go ahead and... Uh, sure, just kill you. Okay, so you're dead. Well, let's see... I mean, there's a troop over there, but I need to be very careful about this. That guy right there is going to take a lot of damage, and you know what? I'm going to go for it. Okay. That's not bad, actually. Um... Wait a minute, but this guy can't... Hold on. What the hell? Wait, he can attack? I thought he couldn't. A useful scout with the ability to travel... Um... I don't know. I guess he does. Hold on. Hold on a second, people. Oh, okay, he does... He does attack, but he's uh, somewhat weak. Let's, oh, god damn it, there's more. There's more incoming. That's not good. Let's get our backup troops here. Um, okay, go ahead and put you right there. You can unload. Wait, what the hell? Wait, what? Did I not? Oh yeah, duh, I didn't unload because I, I took him out of there. Alright, so you gotta capture that. You need to move over here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and move you right here in that spot. And then the this thing can actually go... I would say right there, sure. Then I gotta move the mech, of course, a lot closer. 
I really want to avoid the streets though because they're they're pretty dangerous. The streets don't give you any defense whatsoever, so it's uh it's just scary to do that, you know? Okay, let's end it. So we're gonna take some rather oh shoot. Oh my god. Don't you dare. Okay, that's fine, that, that's okay. So they're about to take my little spots, which is not good. Alright, that's fine though. So all I need to do now is go ahead and grab this. Wait, but see he can't even wait. They can't shoot over... Actually, I mean, well, they can, but... That's gonna suck. What I need to do, then, is move this guy. Hmm. I'm kind of in trouble here. Just because... First of all, that thing does not have any soldiers in it. What I'm gonna do, though, is capture that, of course. Now, with this... Um, LT mech here, I can actually just go ahead and... Attack him there. It'll do quite a bit of damage, but not everything that I wanted to, unfortunately. 2%. That's... Wow. Wow. Um, Sort of in trouble here. Also, are there any freaking... I don't know. I could run up there and capture that. I could also run... Right there. I gotta move this thing somewhere, man. Like, I'm just saying, I need to move it. Because I have to get that thing there, but there's no... Okay, good. There's no enemies there, so I can hide you right there. Um, I need to move you up for forward, of course. I need to move this LT mech somewhere. That'll do a lot of damage, but unfortunately it's not going to be enough, you know? And I have to, of course, do that. I need to move this junk out of the way and put you... I would say maybe over here? No, no, no. I need to move you a bit further. Let's just put you... Put you over here. Okay, so now here, I can move to that spot, right there, and I can attack. Wait, wait, what? What the hell? Wait a minute. Why can't I attack? What did I just do? Oh my god. I just screwed this up, didn't I? Didn't I put attack? Like, why can't he move anymore? All I did was move him so he can still do an action, can't he? Unless I'm, oh no, I'm dead, people. I am so gonna die. I did not mean to do that. Like, what the hell happened there? Well, he's going to kill my soldier, which I don't really care for. Because now I can kill... Okay, here comes another foot soldier on the way. Let's see here. I need to kill this guy. I'm only gonna do 45% though. Which freaking sucks. So, I have to kill... That's gonna do 71. 58... I see 45 from that. Um, let's kill you. Let's do some nice damage. There we go. Now, as far as these guys go, um, I think they can actually do some pretty devastating damage when it comes to uh, fighting foot soldiers. But I don't know. Let's just go ahead and attack. Okay, there's that, of course. Um, now I need to just go ahead and... Only 2% though, that's not, that's not good. That is so not good. Okay, so I can move that guy right there. I can't do anything with this, unfortunately. I have to back off a little bit. I'll actually just come over here with some defense. And then I can move this guy right over here. So I actually did pretty good, because they don't have a lot of troops either. I'm doing pretty well. All right, so that guy, whatever, I don't really care. Okay, so here comes another soldier that's gonna, oh damn it. Dude, would you get out of there? Like, seriously? Get out. Um... I, I still feel like I'm in trouble, though. Like, I really, really do feel that. He's 61%. Um... No. Because now I have to... I can kill this guy. No, I can't. I can kill this guy. Okay, get rid of him. Now. Just get rid of all these garbages, man. Like, seriously. Okay, kill that guy, good. Now you can attack him. How much damage? Only 8. That's not enough, unfortunately. So for this thing, I'm going to move it over here. I don't want to attack that thing just yet. I want to put it a bit closer. And I'm just going to move that right over here to see if... Nope, nothing else, actually. Okay, so I'll just put you right over here. Still nothing. Let's end the turn. Alright, what's next? So you have another foot soldier right there, which is going to attack me, but I can counterattack, do a bit of damage back, that's fine. 
Okay. So the next step is to use this guy. Attack that guy. He's down. Now let's go ahead and take over. Well, actually, I need to move you a bit further over here. I can leave you right there. That's fine. I can go ahead and kill this guy. There we go. And I can move this little transport unit. Actually, I'm going to move this thing all the way over here. This will give me a huge field of view. And I can move this thing over here. Okay. So as you can see, I have a lot of view now. And, well, I'm done for this turn. And turn. I mean, it's a pretty fun game. Pretty fun gameplay, you know, like I said. It's just, like, a simplistic strategy, you know. So that's why you can just use it, you know, to kill some time. It's very nice for that. Okay, let's go ahead and move this guy towards this safety area. Okay. Let's also move this guy all the way. Where the hell is your missing troop, though? Dude, he's missing a troop. Like, don't even start with me. Like, seriously. He's so missing a troop, isn't he? There, there he is. There he is. Kill him. God damn it. Wait, why can't I hit that stuff? Like, seriously? I need to move this, of course. Move that right there. I can go ahead and... Yeah, I don't really care about the cities anymore, man. I'm just trying to get the hell out of here. Okay. And I can move this junk all the way over here. I don't think he has anything on the... His building, though, doesn't he? I'm pretty sure he doesn't. Actually, he does. Okay, he has one thingy there. So, I must move this junk all the way over here. Okay. Let's go ahead and kill this thing with that. Alright. I can go ahead and move this guy over here. I need to move this thingy a little bit more back. And... I mean, there's honestly not much I can do, though. Like, there, there just isn't. I'm going to move this thing towards this... Oh, shoot! Which means that I gotta put that over there because that freaking artillery is going to hit me. It's gonna hit me and I don't want that. Okay, end of turn. What's next? Okay, he killed me. I don't really care though. Oh, damn it. He actually hit me. That little piece of trash. Okay, you know what? Take this garbage. Take this garbage. There you go, you're dead. Let's move a bit more now. Okay, nothing over there. So, I can just go ahead and... The problem is, though... I'm not going to do too much damage, so what I need to do then is simply move back over here to defense until these guys get over here, which is going to take so many turns, I must say. Okay, he's going to hide on the bushes or whatever, the trees, the dead trees, you know? Okay, I need to move this thing even closer now. And then this thing needs to come all the way down here. Jesus, man. This is ridiculous. I'm moving so slowly here. Okay, then turn. Let me just wait for you now. So he's gonna move closer, but he didn't actually attack me for some damn reason. Um... Yes, he has one thing there, so I need to move this guy all the way over... here, I would say. Right there. And then... I need to move this thing. Actually, that was stupid because now he's gonna kill me, isn't he? That was very bad of me to do. Shoot. Okay, go right there. See if I kill this guy. He shouldn't do too much damage that because I'm in the woods. Actually, he sort of did. What? See, sometimes I don't understand the mechanics in here because it's just... Like, I'm on the defense, but he still did a lot of freaking damage. Do you see that? Like, he's actually freaking killing me. And I don't actually know why. That is so very strange. Okay, that's not gonna work. I can put that right there. And I can go ahead and move this thing a bit further this way. Just gotta keep going straight ahead. My scout is pretty much useless. Can't do anything. Let's just, uh... <laughs> move one up. Okay, done. Okay, that's all I did. So, for this turn, I think I can actually just come over here. I can move my guy right here. There we go. Now I can actually shoot him. Only 18, though. And then 65... Dude! 
hit him. There we go. And then this guy, just move him somewhere over here, I don't know. Okay, done. Man, do these turns take a long time. Okay, so he moved it closer because he's like, well, I'm dead. Yeah. That's why scouts are good, you know, to just scout at the little trees and whatever. Okay, um, yeah, kill him. Oh, shoot. Okay, now I need to move this junk over here. Right there. And then attack him from afar. Another 28%. And are you kidding me? I thought you had more range in the freaking ballista. Or artillery. Why why can't you hit him? That's stupid. And the turn. So we're up to 15 minutes and it's still the one freaking stage. Like, that's unbelievable. Okay, 26. Now here's the problem. I'm gonna move you over here. And I'm gonna position you. I would say right there. And then put you right over here okay and turn yeah whatever you're gonna attack me but you're dead my ballast is gonna get you okay. wait a minute why can't you hit him people I don't understand what's going on here like I seriously don't understand what's going on like why can't I hit him I had a I purposely put my guy in range but now he's it says he can target the freaking tree so I don't understand this just go in there and freaking capture it like seriously just capture it because clearly it's not gonna work so just end it oh my god he's just gonna pass okay keep capturing it like seriously this is getting stupid now he moved a bit which means I can actually hit him now there we go hit him See, it... Wait a minute. I think the ballista doesn't have more range than the artillery, though. That, that's what I'm getting at. That's the only possible conclusion. I thought it had one more range than the artillery. But no, it doesn't. It simply does not. Capture, and you're dead. Okay, yes, thank god. It took me only 17 freaking minutes to do that. That is insane. Okay, what's next? I'm also going to have to be splitting this video most likely because I don't want to end it right now, but I mean, we'll see. We destroy the bridges, Commander Wave. You blew up your own bridges? Only an idiot would. <laughs> okay. Um. Alright, so let's see here. Basically, we have to... Oh my god. Are you kidding me right now? So it's going to be an aerial war, basically. Dog fights. Oh man. So, right here is the carrier. It's like a dropship on steroids. These bad boys can carry two ground units each, so they'll be perfect for landing our invasion force. By the way, giving a unit a day to rest inside a transport will allow it to move as soon as you unload it. Ooh, okay. It can make for some powerful combos when paired with an attack or capture. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Obviously, i got to put this guy in there, in the carrier. Then I have to move... Because see, these are, these are rangers, yeah. The range infantry unit, yeah, okay, from 2 to 3, they do best against infantry and air units and gain extra attack range on mountains. Keep that in mind. So that's a dropship, which you already know about. I can just go, yeah, that's a gunship. Um, okay, so it should be good. Now, here's another carrier, by the way, but what I want to do first is move these guys over here. And make them capture stuff. Okay, go ahead and move right there, and then you move right there. So I'm going to capture four of these, which is going to be good. And in the meantime, I'm going to have one guy over here, which I can actually put into the uh, carrier. I can then put this guy right over, I would say right over here, because I'm going to, uh, you know, fill up my carriers, of course. Put that right there. The gunship will be in the front. The LT mech can't actually go in the, you know... The buildings unfortunately but we'll see what happens as far as these guys go just um i don't want to attack them just yet because i think they have hold on let me see here no they're actually disadvantaged yeah disadvantageous towards air units so maybe next one i should be attacking i don't want to put this guy right there and the drop ship it should be fine right there well, actually what the hell is this oh we've got our own in interstellar airport these structures allow you to use your funds to build additional air units. 
If you park an air unit on top of it, you'll receive health and supplies at the beginning of your turn. Okay, cool. So, yeah, what the hell? A jet? A bomber? Oh my god. That's crazy. That is so crazy. What about... Yeah, but what, what about this, though? Oh yeah, duh, because in these you can't actually get any air vehicles. You can't. Only in those. I see now. So, I think we're done with this turn. Let's just go ahead and end the turn now. Actually, I don't know what this guy can do, though. Like, he's gonna be useless, isn't he? Pretty sure. End the turn, and let's see what you do. Okay, so we're gonna capture a bunch of stuff, I see. It's understandable. They're going to... If I let them capture all that stuff and give them many turns, they're going to unload on me. Which is not good. Not good at all. Okay, so those guys are just right there, you know, waiting on me, I guess. I don't even know. Alright, um... I'm going to end it right here. I know it's in the middle of a, uh, you know, a mission. But due to time constraints, I'm going to have to do that sometimes. So if you enjoyed this episode in any way, please be sure to leave a like. I would appreciate that very much. Thank you, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.